we're at DockerCon 2016 in Seattle, and I'm here at the Datadog booth, and uh, we're going to hear a little bit about the company. Hi. So, uh, yeah, uh, we're here at DockerCon, and my name is Elon Rabinovich. I'm with, uh, with Datadog. We're a uh, monitoring, uh, infrastructure and application monitoring uh, provider, so it's a, it's a service offering where we help you capture your metrics and events from all of the different parts of your stack. So it could be everything from uh, uh, from your containers, of course we're here at DockerCon, to your cloud providers, folks like Amazon, Google, or Azure, um, to even things like your data stores, uh, like Cassandra or Redis, MySQL, things like that. So right. the idea is to collect all the data all the way up and down your stack, and even from other monitoring providers, and bring it into a single place where you can build insightful dashboards, uh, do some intelligent alerting, and really make some make some database decisions about uh, about your company and about your infrastructure. Great, and um, I see a bunch of screens in the background with yep. some dashboards and stuff. Yep. Is, so, if you guys, you have a uh, demo that you could show us? Yeah, we'd, we'd love to. Um, so, one thing I'll mention is uh, we, recent, we released a, a study this morning uh, about Docker adoption, so we call it Eight, eight Surprising Facts About uh, Real World Docker Adoption. It's the, one of the more comprehensive, most, most comprehensive studies about uh, Docker usage in, in, uh, in production right now. And yep. so uh, check that out. It's uh, on our website, datadoghq.com. Uh, and so that's one of the things that we're talking about this week that I wanted to highlight for folks. Um, there's some, some interesting facts there about just how folks are using Docker and, and where, where, where it is in the adoption, in the adoption trends. Um, but yes, as I mentioned, our, we're a uh, monitor, infrastructure and application monitoring solution. So our goal is to help you collect data from all the different parts of your infrastructure and build dashboards like the ones I'm showing you here. So this is sort of a, a red, yellow, green style status dashboard. We call it a, a screen board that you would use in your organization to see how, uh, how, how your containers are behaving and how your applications are behaving. So what you'll see here, for example, is we've broken down things by... Uh, Unlike most monitoring solutions, what we do is we're collecting not just uh, the not not just the numbers and the metrics of uh, of how your systems are performing, but also metadata about them, such as where they are uh, and what they are. And uh, so we're able to do things like show you use that use use that tagging uh, the taggings and labels from your Docker infrastructure, from your Kubernetes infrastructure, from your Swarm infrastructure, and tie them together to figure out what you know what's your most intensive container or show me all of the show me the number of web requests for this application um, and so uh, we have views like this which is this something we call our host map which shows you gives you the opportunity to um, quickly slice and dice your data so here in this case for example what we're looking at is um, is CPU usage across your infrastructure. Each one of these hexagons on the screen represents a node in, in your infrastructure. Uh, we can zoom in on these things and see what they're running. So in this case, we can see these guys, some of these guys are in Amazon, some of these guys are running different applications. And we can get relevant metrics on those. But more interesting is, again, the color here. In the, in the case of the color, what we've done in this case is we've um, we're, we're filling them in based on CPU usage. We could do this with any metric that you might want to, uh, but we're going to use CPU since everybody knows what, what that is. Right. Um, and so I might want to see if there are different hotspots across my infrastructure, uh, and I can start using those tags and that metadata we talked about earlier to see how, how things slice and dice as we, as we dive in. And so uh, what I went ahead and did is I typed in, I said, let's group this by availability zone, and so you can see we're uh, we're spread across uh, a number of different availability zones here in, in Amazon's infrastructure. Uh, now I have them grouping, and I can see that there's not a particular area that's hot, but I could go even lower than that and say, um, look at something like, uh, look at the image name or the role name and go to multiple levels to try to figure out where things are. And this all moves smoothly and quickly as you're, as you're, as you're diving in here. So it makes it, this is really great for you trying to figure out uh, an investigation from the top, top down. Right. Um, so all of the dashboards that we're, uh, we're, sh we're, we're showing here uh, can pull in data from a number of different sources. So it can be, you know, we talked about earlier about building from cloud, pulling from cloud providers or other monitoring tools or uh, your applications and infrastructure, data stores. So the idea is you can bring all of these together. In this case, what we have to be looking at is a test Cassandra cluster that we put together. 
And you'll notice we're pulling in data from everywhere from the operating system to JMX to the Cassandra to Cassandra's APIs directly to give you a real sense of how the cluster is performing as a whole, um, rather and, and as a service, rather than worrying about individual nodes and having to look at ten different tools to figure out how the cluster is is, is performing. Um, my favorite feature about all of this, though, I mean, we, we do things is is, uh, is the ability to share. So. As you're building these dashboards, if you find something interesting or exciting, it's just it's quite easy just to highlight a particular section that you think might be problematic uh, or interesting to one of your colleagues, and just mention um, a Slack channel or somebody's email address. Uh, and have this show up in there. Have this show up in their, uh, this will show up now in their email, it'll show up on their Slack channels or their hip chat channels, it'll show up in their, uh, uh, on their pagers if you want it to go there, and the idea is to help make it very easy to share. Uh, the sort of, the, uh, one of the key tenets of, of, of for, for DevOps is this idea of, of collecting metrics and then and the ability to share things across your teams. And so our goal is to help give you the tools to make those two, to, to meet those two goals right there. Um, so yeah, and then everything I showed you here, we can easily do alerts on. So whether it be on things like uh, uh, metrics hitting a given threshold, uh, outlier detection here, what we've done is we've shown, we've, uh, we have a bunch of different hosts coming into our system. Uh, we're looking across all of them and identifying which one seems problematic or at least different than the rest of the cluster. Uh, and the idea is to help you build these insightful dashboards that let, uh, and alerts that let you uh, identify issues before they impact your teams or to make business decisions based on data rather than based on you know finger in the wind guessing. Right. Um, so we like to say we're we're trusted by thousands, uh, and you know here's here's a number of the customers that we have uh, here today, um, and yeah, happy to happy to chat more about any questions you might have. But uh, excited to be here with you guys here at uh, DockerCon, and looking forward to meeting everybody else at the show. So where can they go if they want to find out more information about Datadog? So uh, jump on our site datadog.com, uh, and you can check our. We have uh, some great. Uh, some great blog posts on, uh, about uh, the, some of the challenges around monitoring Docker and containers and how to dive into them, as well as other technologies that are out there. Uh, you can also find our Docker adoption study and uh, sign up for a free Datadog trial and check it out, see how your own infrastructure measures up. Great.